And we're good. This is totally different from what I'm usually doing, and I'm sure my voice is echoing like crazy. But I got this on loan, and I had to show it off to my friends, which means you all are along for the ride. So this is the 1985 Doctor Who role-playing game box set. I used to have this uh, in 1985. I was like 10, 9, 9 or 10, maybe 8, I don't know. I was young. I was really young. And even back then, I had a thing for Leela. So, uh, I know what's in here. It should be three books in a pamphlet. And that's purely out of memory. Like, I don't know. So, this is by FASA. Let's take a look at this. Let's just look at this. Uh, a game for three or more players. Three or more. So, no one-on-one -on -one RPG here. Ages 12 and up. I have been told 12 is about the age for Dungeons and Dragons players too. And oh yes, this is product number 1000 or 9001. So, this product is literally over 9000. Let's see, it's even got an ISBN. That's fucking neat as hell. Let me get a good look at this so we can see. Oh yeah, that, that focus isn't going to hurt at all. Um, it really just kind of repeats the same thing on the sides says a game for three or more players. Focus. Focus. Oh well. And it's got a nice TARDIS on the side here. Uh, that is the fourth Doctor's TARDIS. And yes, the TARDISes kind of differ a little bit from uh, Doctor to Doctor. I'm sure you youngins will get a kick out of this, but I don't think Doctor Who's cool anymore. I'm not sure. It goes in and out of style a lot. So let's see what's on the back here. <clears throat> All right, you can't read this, so I will read it for you. Here's a lovely picture of the TARDIS, and you want to know something killer? I recognize this quarry, because this quarry on the back of this was the same quarry they kept going to for things like the Centauran experiment, or, uh, what was it? Destiny of the Daleks? I can't remember. They use this quarry over and over. So, it says, the Master has stolen a weapon that will give him ultimate control of the universe and time itself. So, Legopolis. The Daleks are invading Earth. The Cybermen are terrorizing the space lanes. Can we call Cybermen space terrorists at this point? Can we do that? Can we get space land security involved? And the Centaurans and the Rutans are battling to see who wins the galaxy. I think we see the Rutans once. And that was a, a episode with Leela. That was the, um, help me, horror, Red Rock, some, horror of Red Hook? I don't remember. It took place in a lighthouse. You, you can correct me in the comments. That's what you're for. Only you, the Time Lord and companions of the Celestial Intervention Agency, what, can stop these villains from changing the course of history. Your weapons are your wits and your TARDIS. We get our own TARDIS? To join the Doctor in his adventures to defeat the foes of the universe. You only need your imagination, a pencil, some paper, and this game. So I got this on loan from a friend named Don. Uh, I had told him that I used to have the Doctor Who role-playing game back in the 80s. And he had a copy, and he was uh, gracious enough to, uh, to loan this to me because I gave him... <laughs> I gave him a ride uh, to OKC. Let's unbox this, some bitch. Um, sorry about that, Scar Scar. You're gonna have to move over a little bit so I can get all of this in here. Uh, I'm gonna need another table. All right. So here's what we got. I was right. Looks like three manuals and a pamphlet. So we got the Doctor Who role-playing game, Game Operation Manual. I assume this is what a, um, this is what a core rule book looks like. I'll page through that in a second. What else we got? Be careful. It's, one, this is old. Two, it's, it's a friend's, it's not mine, so I want to take care of it. So what else do we got in the back here? Here is... A source guide for field agents. 
I, I'm very fascinated. I'll, I'll have to make another video that shows off uh, what's inside this, even. I could probably get a PDF archived somewhere. Somebody has this game besides me and Don. Don, really. And then finally, we have the player's user manual. The player's manual. It's a manual, not a uh, player's handbook. Another interesting thing. So let's see, Dungeons and Dragons would have been out and about and making waves for about 10 years at this point. Uh, I'm probably wrong, but I think 1974, 75, somebody help me. Comments, that's what you're for. And then finally, yes, a pamphlet for the FASA Corp order form. Oh wow, what are we dealing with here? Oh man, I gotta read, I can't, I can't read this. Scar Scar, entertain the troops while I read this out loud. All right, what do we got here? Name, address, city, state, zip code. So this is for the United States. FASA Corporation, P.O. Box 6930, Chicago, Illinois, 60680. I'm sure that's still there. Oh no, this is effective through September 31, 1985. Alas, the, uh, the time has run out. You cannot order from this facility anymore. A pity. Science fiction, fiction game bots, including Combots, Combots Miniatures, Battle Droids. There's Star Trek products here, game rules and supplies, uh, including the Klingons, the Romulans, I see there, deck plans. I would kill for those. Uh, data books, Starship Bubble, blah, 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 Battlestar Galactica stuff. You can get the Battlestar Galactica game for 15 bucks? It was a different time. Masters of the Universe. Uh, I guess that's both He-Man and She-Ra, because 1985, uh, again, my memory's off. Comments, please. Uh, Stardate Magazine, which I assume is Star Trek related, but it's under Masters of the Universe for some reason. Doctor Who Products, uh, they have just one. This is it. And Miscellaneous, in case you just want to add, like, uh, joke entries, like your wife panties or something like that. <clears throat> What's in the back? Nothing. It's blank on the back. So, I can't get away without paging through this, right? Let's page through this. Let me go ahead and put this back over here. Scar, Scar, you can get out of the way. Thank you. All right. I, uh, I haven't opened one of these since... I don't know. I don't know. I was a kid. I didn't... Like, I remember distinctly trying to get my mother and my sister to play this game with me because I wanted to get into role-playing games. It was Doctor Who and I loved Doctor Who back then. And we re-watched the VHS tapes over and over again. That's DVDs to you, uh, to you millennials. That's Netflix for you Gen Zs. Um, that's, that's some powerful column action there. That is hard to read. Don't they know that this game was made for 40-year-old freaks like me? Wow, there's the original master. Did uh, Anthony Ainley, was he not the master at this point? Wait, no, no, he was the master by this point, right? No, he took over after Leela, so after 1985. So you have, I forget what the original guy's name was. But everybody remembers Anthony Ainley. Wait, no, we have Adric. Adric means Nissa was involved. Nissa being involved means Anthony Ainley has already taken over his role as the master. So, where's Anthony Ainley? Acquiring skill. The interaction matrix. Oh my god, oh my god. It's for 12 year olds. Just remember, I think this might be worse than Thacko. Uncertain. What else we got? Okay, we have now bypassed uh, the fourth Doctor and gone on to the sixth. And look, there's Perry. We cheered when she died. I know, I know, the actress was fine. We found her really annoying. That's me and my family found uh, Perry really annoying. There's the second Romana. There's uh, uh, John Pertwee. Wow, just the whole mess. When did this come out? I don't see Sylvester McCoy. When did he take over? I cannot remember. So this is what happens. This is what's going to happen. Is I won't be able to remember everything because I haven't flexed this knowledge in a while. Source book. 
So this would be like uh, characters, monsters. Yep, here we go. Hey, I seem to remember there being a history of time in this. Let me see. Time Traveler's Handbook. Theory of Time and Space Travel. Techniques. Uh, mini Glossary. Temporal Marauders. There's Davros. Earth, the Nexus of Struggle. Isn't that the truth? It was just easier to film there. Uh, TARDIS Operations. Equipment. Bio Extract. Guidelines for Selecting Visitor and Visitor's Guides to Gallifrey. Well, that's not a problem anymore. It's locked behind a time lock. Or isn't? I'm not sure anymore. I missed all of Cabaldi's stuff and whoever the one woman is that took over for the next one and didn't, like, tenant again? Like, that's never happened before. But I don't see a history of time. Very unfortunate. Ooh. System log, world log, alien creature record, civilization log. That's useful anyway. I could use that in D&D. Ah, Pertwee and Troughton. I don't remember them liking each other. There's Colin Baker. There's the, uh, that's from the Five Doctors, even though there's only four. Something with, uh, Tom Baker didn't hit right. I don't remember what. And they're still using, like, the old master. Where's Anthony Anley? He's my guy. There's no one as evil as Anthony Anley. Old school. Wow, that's what the original Cybermen looked like. Gaze upon its 1950s schlock and despair. 1960s, whatever. <clears throat> uh, old school Daleks. This is good. Whoa, 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 back up. <clears throat> what is this? That's a Rutan. You don't even get a good look at him, so you have to have a drawing. He looks like an upside down frowny face. Or a right side up smiley face with the eyes wrong. Oh! Timeline of Earth history. Aha, is this our chance? It starts at uh, 400 million BC, like you do. And that's when Skaro's uh, spaceship explodes, creating life on Earth. Uh, that is from City of Death, part of the Key to Time series. I don't remember the year. I don't like remembering the year. The year doesn't tell me a story. Operation Manual. I, uh, I secretly had the hots for Tegan. Actually, Nissa and Tegan. I don't know. Maybe I just have a thing for fiery women. Some Gallifreyans. Uh, this is before uh, Melanie. So. This is. Looks like before. Ooh! Equipment! Oh man, what do we got here? Drone clamps, gyro stout. Stalos gyros, like you do. A homing. A TARDIS homing beacon. Magnetic clamps. Which, you know. Why not just a vice? Well, they're not magnetic. It's like these go up to 11. A torch pin. I remember that one. There's the famous sonic screwdriver. Jelly Babies is listed as equipment. Cool. Uh, guns, guns, guns. We gotta have guns. The doctor doesn't use them, but I will. Robots. Let's start off with a cyber mat, a picture of a cyber mat and a K9. Why not? Wait a second. I recognize that particular picture. Is this from the Sarah Jane Smith special that came out during Christmas? I'm freaking out, you guys. Biodata. Of course, the doctor's got a huge chunk. And here's some other people. Maybe. Kind of. All right, what else we got? Wait, what's the back? Oh, picture of Tom Baker. Wait, what was on the back of the other one? Oh, a picture of Tom Baker. I'm picking up on a the theme here. Uh, player's manual. I Wasn't the first one the rules? Okay, Scar Scar, you gotta move over. Let's do this right for the, uh, Introduction for Field Agents. 
Defining a character. Attributes. So we do have attributes. What do we got? Strength, endurance, dexterity, charisma, uh, and mentality. And I believe that Watsi and Hasbro own the rights to strength and dexterity, but every other uh, one seems to be all right, like mentality. <clears throat> yes, I know. I can't wait to read those comments. Skills. Okay, so this is the game system. I guess. We got quite a list of skills. This is some small ass text. I'm not going to try to read most of this. It hurts to look at. Tabby cats and time lords. Sure. Hang on. I recognize that art style. Hang on, I, I gotta check something. This is a, an adventure, clearly, but I need a credits. Am I gonna get credits? Cause it wasn't exactly common. Oh, I'm wrong. Okay. Okay, never mind. It's just a very common looking comic book style of art. Moving on. For some reason this car is so blocky it reminds me of the old Cyberpunk 2022. Ah, there's Anthony Ainley. And there he is again with a gun. Like you do. And there he is again with a mask. It goes on and on. So this is pretty cool. I needed to show this off. There's a lot of memories in this mess. <laughs> uh, I will read the rules and see what they were like, because I don't remember them. Wow, Robots of Death. Wow, there's another one of the Master. Uh, Pre-Aimly, but post other guy. That poor guy. <laughs> Cannot remember so much stuff. And there's a character shape. All right. I'm going to read this, and uh, I, I just made this video for my friends, and here you are. Thanks for watching, I guess. Good night, everyone.